Hey, it's Paul, and today we're going to discuss the benefits I get out of hiking. Hey, it's Paul, and today we're going to have a discussion about the more abstract reasons of why I like to why I like to hike. So we'll talk about the seven reasons I like to hike. Now, so that I don't forget where we're going and I don't uh, forget to um, discuss, discuss something, I do have notes here, so don't mind me while I look down periodically to refer to my notes. I want to make sure that we have a, a good conversation here. Now, some of these reasons are pretty basic, um, obvious. Some of these may not be so obvious, but um, here are the reasons that I find... Um, are beneficial to me to hike. Um, obviously, it helps you with health-wise. It's a great way to get out in nature and get some exercise. Getting on the treadmill or going out for a run, you know, anybody can do that. Staying on level ground is easy to do. Um, to get the, uh, I find getting out hiking uh, does a lot better for me health-wise. Um, builds up my my uh, obviously the heart. If you've seen my hiking videos, you hear me huffing and puffing, so it's good cardio exercise for me. Um, so obviously helps the lungs as well. Um, now the legs, obviously, when you're headed up a, a really steep incline, like you can get, say, going up Gale River Trail in the White Mountains, headed up to Gale Head Mountain, That's that definitely will get your legs going. Um, good for the core as well. I that's something that I really have to work on after after a hike. My lower back really uh, really takes a takes a beating. Uh, so it's definitely something that is good overall exercise. Uh, I like to say it keeps you balanced. Walking on flat ground easy to do for most people. Um, getting out on the trails, especially up in at least the White Mountains and uh, a lot of other trails, you've got to worry about uneven ground, rocks, roots, walking across, uh, get, you know, hop, hopping across a, crossing a stream, as you probably saw in the Round Pond Trail. My, yeah, go watch that video. There's a good spot there that you'll see where you need need good balance. You'll have a good laugh with me, as I had. Uh, so definitely, definitely helps you keep balanced. Again, helps build that core. So helps you build your muscles all along your hips, your legs, your abdomen. So helps you get in good shape. Oh, for me, keeps me connected with nature. There's nothing better than listening to the breeze blow through the trees, or nothing really better than the smell of a pine. Um, there are spots on the trail where I'll just stop and, and inhale and thank God for it. It'd be neat to truly be able to bottle up that smell. Um, I, I just get that and just like, I could stay there all day. Um, the babbling brook, the sound of that brook is, is, is really great. Helps drown out the traffic noise that you get that lasts forever in the woods. You know, the uh, most of these trailheads that I hike are right off a of main drag, so getting far away from the noise is really great. So that's that's the really good thing. I mean, you get to see the sights and the sounds of nature, watch the the trees blow through the breeze, um, get scared as you see a toad thinking it's a snake, hate snakes, or coming upon a a moose that you did not expect coming around the corner, you scare it, it scares you. So for the next mile, you're making as much noise as you can so you don't happen to come across another unexpected moose or other critter. Because that's not all that much fun. So it's definitely, definitely a good way to keep you uh, connected to nature. Um, especially if you're in a, in a your urbanized area or even suburban it's kind of hard to get in touch with nature, so that's one of the big reasons I like to go out. Uh, it says, focuses your mind and allows you to, to let go. Yeah. Um, when, you're, when you're 
worried about where you're going to put your foot and in, in hands as you're climbing up a, a steep slope, say, on Amanusuk Ravine Trail, the upper section, you know, just below the um, lakes in the clouds hot. Kind of hard to, um, to worry about the bills and things waiting for you at home when you're when you're trying to make sure that you don't slide down down uh, slide or or if you're going down a scree path say like on I want to say it was North Tri Pyramids that's that's really hard to worry about anything other than making sure you put that next foot right because it's a long slide down so it helps it helps that way it helps put put your mind and, and centers it. Um, yeah, you become more aware of your surroundings as you're hiking through the woods, you're looking at the trees, the breeze, making sure that you're putting your foot right, that you're hearing that uh, nothing dangerous is coming upon you, you're listening for the waterfall that might come up that you're that you've been looking for as a landmark. Um, as you get higher up in elevation, you're noticing trees changing from broadleaf to pine to evergreen, of course. And then as they get shorter, so you're looking for time when you hit a trail, where you hit a tree, tree line or timber line. Uh, because at that point, it's the views are going to get really good, but there becomes some more danger that you need to be aware of. So that's always that's always something that I look forward to. Is helps me keep aware of my surroundings. Um, oh yeah, helps you keep keep um, aware of time. If you're anything like me, who's getting into more year-round hiking, and I used to until this year just hike three uh, three seasons of the year. This year I got into winter hiking. So it helps you realize that the the mar slow march of time. In the winter, you're always bundled up for the cold and the shorter days. So as the season goes on and you get into late February, into March, the cold grip and the long and the long or short days of winter seem to give way. And the hope of spring starts to come upon you where you'll get longer days, warmer temperatures. But with that comes the mud and the bugs but less to worry about when it comes to layers. As spring marches on, you get into summer, the really long days of the summer season, and of course the heat, but I'll take the heat any day. As summer goes by, you start noticing the days start getting a little cooler, and you're noticing the trees are beginning to change color as autumn marches on, and that gets really beautiful. There's nothing better than going through a nice forest trail or getting above tree line uh, during the peak of autumn, at least in New Hampshire and New England. The, uh, the colors are just beautiful. But you know that winter is coming soon and your hiking season is going to change drastically, so you start getting prepared for that. But winter hiking is its own its own beauty as I have I've come to appreciate. So hiking helps me get uh, used to the passage of time. The sixth reason, the seventh reason I like to hike is it puts things into perspective. Um, I could start the week on a Monday really bummed because work is going really bad or it's really busy and uh, this thing didn't happen right throughout the week that thing wasn't going well I got this bill to pay that bill to pay uh, but when you get out on the trail and you're working really hard to keep yourself safe as you're hiking up a, a steep section of a trail that can be dangerous or um, hiking down a steep section that's got a landslide and you got to make sure that you don't take the wrong step and, and slide down the mountain. Um, you realize that all those all those petty stressors that you had in the week are just that. They're, they're just petty and you, and you learn to start to let them go. Um, biggest thing for me that really helps keep me in perspective, you get up on um, a more secluded summit 
that you hadn't been on, say Gale Head, and you just look around and for miles upon miles upon miles you see nothing but forest, you realize just how small you are and, and, your, and your problems are. Um, helps me keep myself centered. So those are the seven reasons that I find help uh, hiking helps keep me um, in a better place. So tell me a little bit about the reasons you hike or the reasons that um, you find beneficial to you to hike. Leave a comment. Let me know what, what you're thinking. Um, subscribe, of course. And share this, for this video with your family and friends if you thought it would be beneficial to them as well. So this is Paul, and until our next journey through the wilderness, I'm going to sign off. Have a great day.